We're the Cole Guys. I'm George. And I'm David. Today we're joined with our good friend Corwin Mellett. He's with the Exit Low Country. Uh, is it the Exit Realty, Realty Low Country Group? Exit Realty Low Country. There we go. We're down here in North Charleston today and we're about to find out what all the Charleston ha area has to offer. Yep. So thank you for joining us. The Cole Guys isn't your average real estate podcast. Our mission is to give buyers and sellers the power of knowledge through their real estate transactions. We do this by helping first time home buyers realize that there are more expenses that come with owning a home than just the loan. We also understand there are many times move up buyers and sellers have forgotten the process because it's been so long since their last real estate transaction. We make the downsizing easy. Once you get into the habit of working with us, the process becomes so smooth you won't mind to move. We are also excited to share with you what all the Midlands has to offer. This episode is brought to you by Dick Dyer Mercedes Benz. The first Mercedes Benz in South Carolina. Let's start this episode off with just a few driving clips of the Mercedes. So we do need to kind of give out a shout out to Dick Dyer Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Hey, they have hooked us up with the truly brand new EQS 580 formatic. SUV that Mercedes has put out. So we are riding in style today. Carl. Look here. So look, for your listeners, look, I'm a big guy, all right? And I'm sitting over here in complete comfort, being massaged, going down the highway at like 50 miles an hour. I mean, look. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? This is like the life right here, man. It really is. Beautiful car. Shout out. Um, to Dick Dwyer, Mercedes, look, you guys are the biz a <laughs> <laughs> we, we told you we were going to have some fun, not give you a spa experience, too, right? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. If I'd have known that, I'd have brought, a, I'd have brought a, one of those comfy robes and yeah. stuff. I'd have been ready. You should have brought the neck thing that the people wear on the airplanes, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, you don't need it because I there see we go. Go. Yeah, yeah, the a comfy pillow here. <laughs> Yeah. That is priceless, and you don't. It's like you don't almost. It's like the the like the car is like hovering, yep. like it doesn't even feel like it's even riding no. on the road. And here's another thing that we noticed about this car: when you're on the interstate and you're going 70, you feel like you're going 15. So when there's traffic, it makes it really hard to to just want to keep going the speed of traffic because you're like this car is just begging for it to go faster, so you yes. even feel like you're going the speed limit. So it's crazy. You know, it is is definitely um, a driving experience. Yes. You know, it, you know, and that you know, people people want to experience now. They want to they know, want an experience. Yeah, it's definitely definitely that. And you've got all the entertainment you could need from one end of this dashboard to the other, right? Yes. Yeah. You can't see it on the camera, but it's there, there's a lot of information, the a lot of going on. brings stuff. a screen like yes. no other. It's, so I have my own like little screen. Well, no, 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 let me phrase that. It's not a little screen. It's like a 12, 13 inch screen. It's a massive screen right here that controls stuff that I can control for me. From yeah. the passenger yeah. seat. Yeah. Matter of fact, hold, hold, my massage stop. Wait a minute. Turn <laughs> Fix it back that. On. Turn that back <laughs> on. Hold on, the rear tires turn on this thing? Yes. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> If we wouldn't record, I'd have yeah. said, I'd have said, damn, what? That's what I'm talking about. That was a tight turn, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. If we wouldn't record, I'd have yeah. said, I'd have said, damn. Do what? Show Corwin how fast it speeds up. What? <laughs> 70. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Mrs. Wire, right, look, look, yeah, we coming. We, we got, yeah, yeah. Hot. I know. That's why I told him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. Oh, that is impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that is awesome. <laughs> With no noise, so the police don't even know you took off. <laughs> Other than the nope. family, what, what the? Nope. Yeah. He gone. Not at all. He gone. <laughs> That's funny. Spin the, I don't even think you can spin the wheels in it. Like it, it's got so much traction control. Oh my gosh. That but it's is just so weird because in an electric vehicle, you wouldn't feel like you had that yeah. get up. 
Yeah. Well, but if you think, of, I mean, but if you think about it, I mean, just open the gate, they're just throwing all that electricity. At once. <laughs> <laughs> that was exhilarating. Look, if that don't get your cornflakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right there, right there. That right there, that is impressive. Oh, uh, ah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Even just everything about it is just so like smooth. It is, it is. I'm, you know, I'm, a, you know, and again, it's electric vehicle, so I'm extremely impressed by how quietly. I mean, we do expect that, but yeah. you know, you just feel like you should should hear it, you know. Um, you can and you don't you can you don't. whisper in this car going as fast as you want and have a normal conversation with somebody you don't even have to like speak up now it's time to start our deep dive into the charleston south carolina area you know as we've kind of been going through i mean some some sections like you know i'm up and down most of these roads often yeah. but i cut different ways so you know where we just passed not this traffic light the previous light that's a cut through. So that section we're on that was newly paved with new development and stuff. Yeah. I haven't been on that section of road in a few months, but as you can tell, they re redone the road and you have new structures, businesses mm -hmm. and stuff that's going up and or opening. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, that that's something that we joke about here in this, in this area and not from, you know, you know, some people, you know, look at it as a bad thing, but us in the industry we realize what it means. It means that if businesses, if new buildings are going up, businesses are opening yeah that means that there is an and there's a there's an economy for that yep that is conducive for business growth business development right but we joke about it like you literally can drive by you know a corner today um go home and come back tomorrow and there's a there's a business open. <laughs> some somebody something is there and it's, yep. it's already open seemingly um you know one thing that we're getting also better about is redevelopment okay. um you know as far as you know um, you know, sites being redeveloped, you know, new businesses or whatever going in, into those. And, you know, in our region overall, and this is not just, you know, downtown has a, a tech corridor incubator. Oh, but, really? Mm -hmm, but we actually okay. have incubators now popping up in North Charleston. So you nice. have these hubs where, you know, I mean, you know how yep. it works, yep. guys, we you know, people. Exactly. So, you know, multiple businesses coming in, you know, taking a little small space and they grow their business out of that incubate. Um, grow to a larger and then they you know move on to another location another facility nice so do y'all have enough housing down here for the people that are living here short answer is um <laughs> no um so a, f a few things and this is something you know i mean it's it's, it's reasonable it's logical but we don't think that way so <laughs> this, this is what i always say to david <laughs> Wait, what's the question? Well, I we use this so often. I need to remember. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Days. If yeah. Um. Wait, is it that it makes too much sense to do it? No, yeah, it, it makes someone, too much sense. It would just make way. too much sense to do it that way. That's what I always tell him. I'm like, whenever he says something to me, he's like, "Why aren't they doing this?" I'm always like, "It, it would just make too much sense to do it that way." <laughs> So let's let's cut in by the airport and kind of swing around by, by Boeing if you don't mind. So and, and exactly. Yeah. So this is the thing that people don't think about. So Charleston. So you got Charleston, you got North Charleston, you got Mount Pleasant. Yeah. We refer to West Ashley, you know, but it's still Charleston, referred to as West Ashley. And then on this side, you got ocean. Yeah. Can't build an ocean yet. <laughs> so we don't think about take that left. Um we don't think about that. So when it comes to housing, we're limited on where we can go yeah. without getting further and fur further spaced out. So like other areas, you know, inland areas like, you know, Columbia, you know, you go look at places like maybe Charlotte or you, you know, go to, you know, Atlanta or something of that nature. You can be on one side of town. If you don't like pricing or the opportunity isn't good on this part of, in this, on this side of, yeah. you can go on the other and yeah. usually can create an opportunity. You have 360 yeah. degrees instead of 180. And that's it. So we got 180. And so that means we're trying to cram people in. And one of the things that we are extremely reluctant to do in this market, and not necessarily a bad thing, I understand why, and I'll yeah. speak on that. We won't go vertical. Yeah. So we limit vertical because we don't want to mar the landscape. Yep. Um, downtown has such a significant, um, you know, a, a, such a historic, historical significance. We don't want to mar that landscape sure. with high rises and stuff 
Now when we go downtown, we're gonna see the new the new Charleston State new um new Charleston City bird, which is cranes. Yeah. Um not the crane crane like the bird that fly, yeah. but cranes. <laughs> um but nonetheless, um, you know, we, we only go so high vertical. Yeah. I think there's another reason for that though. Okay. So the tallest building in the state of South Carolina is in downtown Columbia. Okay. It's I you probably rem I remember this old AT and T building was built in the late eighties. Okay. Right across from the state house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? I do. That, that building's big, not that tall. That big gray model. Well, that's the tallest yeah. building in the state of South Carolina. I somebody told me that there was a piece of legislation that says there can be no building taller than that in this state. So. <laughs> I, and that could be the case. Now we and I think that, we still have it on the books here. But in Charleston, tallest building can't be higher than the, the highest church seat. It's yeah, historical. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I get the historical thing, but I also think like somebody just doesn't want Columbia out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Greenville is done in for <laughs> yeah, Yes, 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 man. Um, but you know, you see that you know here in. Um, you know, in, in, you know, in this, in, in this region, yeah. you know, and, you know, we're, we're, you know, we got taller buildings in, in some parts of North Charleston, um, you know, that are, that, than what you technically see downtown, yes. um, you know, but they're steadily building. I was, you know, at a function actually last night, um, installation for our, our new, um, officers for our, our realtor association here locally. And I saw that. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. Extremely humbling and all that good, good jazz, um, you know. But it was, it was real. It was a nice event. Yeah. But we're downtown. I want you to swing through the airport. When's the last right. time you ever been through Charleston Airport? I have once. Okay. So you've been there. What? I've never been there. I've been. I've driven by it. I okay. haven't been in it. Out of 